Interesting starter pick. I would imagine this stage would be super good for Marth, but I don't know. Maybe maybe there's something about Game Watch I don't know. I think the key is actually super good at getting down. From what I know, it's like really disjointed. Mm. I know um, I've seen Kimber do it before, where he'll like put it through platforms because it's so long. Yeah. So yep. So basically, from Game Watch, we're gonna see a lot of fares, a lot of keys, down airs, and the yeah, down tilt. Um, I think is super good. Yeah, down tilt. But uh. <laughs> that was the easiest edge hog in history. Like, I feel like Curve was in control the whole time, but when you play a low tier, sometimes you just lose your stock, you know? Yeah. And one of uh, Game Watch's finishing moves is his Nair, the parachute. Yes. Pretty good. He's going to combo a lot from down throw. Yeah, I think he might be like one of the lowest on the tier list to have this many good KO options. He's got that Nair like you were just talking about. His forward smash or up smash on a read is pretty mm -hmm. good too. Yeah, so. the, Game Watch, the thing about Game Watch, he has a lot of good moves. It's just that his shield sucks, and he has two aerials that can't be L canceled. So he, his mobility is just a little bit too like not not as good. So yeah, I think he easily has. And the he's shield. really light too, mm -hmm. so he dies super early. And despite being so light, like he doesn't avoid all the combos that like the really high tier light characters do. Yeah, like he can still get kind of hit a lot. Yeah, he's like. Not as floaty. As oh, oh, he got a down throw! Oh, nine from Curb! He knew it was gonna come! Look, he didn't even flinch! Oh my He's God. done it a million times! Yo, stone face killer, He's man. like, I could have up thrown him and juggled. Nah, we're just gonna do down throw uh, in the Oh nine. my God, that was sick. But unfortunately, he can't make it back. Regardless of the hype, <laughs> Game Watch sucks. <laughs> oh, that was a nice combo. You got Game Watch main in the building. Be careful what you say. <laughs> Yeah, you just see a shield, like... <laughs> His arms are exposed. Yeah. <laughs> White shielding doesn't help that much. Arms is Okay, nose. he went for the Nair that time. I think, um, so something, when you play any low tier, is you don't have that many ways to cover options. So you have to guess a lot. Right there, it looked like he messed up, but he was guessing as a double jump from Zane, And he wanted to catch that, get him off stage without a jump, and get the KO. Mm. And he knew that the risk was just eating a forward air. So I think that was a really smart uh, down throw into missed double jump. Yeah, ooh, and he just goes out there with a Nair. Catching Zane's recovery and <laughs> Zane's sitting down a stock. Let's see if he can keep it even. Yeah, we've been saying go off the stage versus Marth. If you can challenge him. His recovery, well, it's good. It's not that good. Okay, he's he's alive. And Game Watch up B is actually goes real pretty far. solid. Yeah, yeah, it goes pretty far. It's has pretty a fast. nice hitbox. Yeah, it's fast. Yeah. Here we go. Down throwing an air. Racks up 66% on this Marth. Let's see what Zane can do. Nice mash out of the grab. I always feel like the Franklin the Turtle should do like way more shield damage than he does. Yeah. Oh, we get a down tilt. A nice tech. But wow. Regardless, Curve's gonna take that game one. And now the really hard part for Game and Watch uh, mains, I assume, and just low tier mains in general, is the players learning the matchup gradually. There's only so much to learn about Game & Watch before you can really take advantage of his weaknesses. And Zane's, we saw him adapt really quickly versus Lot. If he can do it here, he can easily bring it back. Yeah, and this was the pick I thought was gonna happen. Yoshi's story. Yep. Uh, again, Game & Watch is super light, so any, you know, he, he dies super early on the stage. Yeah, a tipper might kill now. Yeah, <laughs> it might. Ooh, oh, but he gets a down air instead. That'll also finish it off. Yeah, Curb trying to go down there just to finish Zane off, but Zane was one step ahead. Gets that down air. It goes right for the ledge and just finishes it. Oh, okay. That's, all right, nice edge hog. All right, we back. <laughs> and we're back. Yeah. Also, Game Watch doesn't have too many good options to get back on stage. It's really just ledge hop forward air. <laughs> and but, that's it. I yeah. mean, the regular stand-up is pretty good with most characters. I think Game & Watch, no exception. Yeah. All right, we're going, we're baking, we're cooking. Nice down tilt. Oh, oh, he does it again. Just goes out there with a Nair. Just goes off and Nair's He knows that yeah. timing so well. The Nair takes just, the, like, a little bit to come out. And I think the, the Nair has no hurt box, right? So, I don't know, actually. I think it... You know what? I think it doesn't. I'm pretty sure it doesn't, so it's disjointed, you know, from a technical uh, point of view. So I think he just goes down, like, right next to the stage, so Marth has no way to up B without hitting the parachute. Right. So it's Oh my god, did you risky. see that edge yeah. cancel? <laughs> a down air into forward air? What? Zane is in Zane. See what I did there? Yeah. Well, we, we said it earlier, in oh, Zane yeah. in the membrane. <laughs> that was a combo video name. <laughs> Alright, you beat me to it. I'm tight. <laughs> Alright, so now they're spacing each other out. It looks like they're both figuring out uh, what each other likes to do. 
Yeah, and I think Zayn expected Game Watch to go up a little bit more from that up throw. Yeah, I think so. Nice. I mean, that's the thing. Even not knowing the distances that people's uh, recoveries go, how far they get thrown, how quickly you can move out of the throw is actually a huge thing that uh, doesn't yep. get talked about enough. Because Game Watch is so light, you you can move like super quickly after you're throwing. Okay, nice. Zane just kind of spacing himself out with these fares. That's exactly what you have to do. Bad trade. Or a good trade if you're curb. Yeah, well, yes. Yeah. Nice crouch cancel. Yeah, at this percent, there's nothing Game Watch can really do. Crouch cancel beats him super hard. Yeah, because I think uh, any move will push him far, too far back if it's well spaced for him to get a down tilt out. Yeah, but Curb's making it work. Finds it off off stage. Yeah. Oh, he doesn't get the forward smash in time. This could actually go oh. either way now. Oh my gosh, that was so scary. Oh, no. Gets in there. Yep. Is this the end of Zane's tournament run? Oh, oh, oh he lands oh, on Randall. Randall. We're just gonna say that was on purpose. Yeah. That was that was that was crazy. Uh, and the down okay. tilt. Yeah. Yep. Easy. Of course, it, on Yoshi's, you got the slant. So you see Zane just kind of perk up for a second and widen his eyes. He's like, oh man. All right, one more game. He's like, all right, I can do this. That was uh, <laughs> that was pretty solid. Solid stuff. We're definitely going to Brinstar Death next. <laughs> I don't like Brinstar Death. I like the music. I like yeah, the music's and I, fine. And one thing I, I love. I Brinstar. tweeted about this before. I I, I always wanted the fight crate. Was I the Why only not? one? Was I the only one who won the fight crate? Well, ma uh, maybe like the next subspace emissary. Dreamland. Okay, so we got Dreamland. Guess it kind of makes sense, yeah. Because uh, yeah, Game Watch can live longer, and Marth is like effective. I guess control the stage is is less because there's so much stage, right? Yeah. I think the thing about this stage uh, that Zane's going to want to try to take advantage of is like sort of like the pitch matchup. You yeah. Can, if you can keep him out, you have so much room to work with in neutral that uh, if you're playing perfect, he's not going to be able to hit you. Not really. What the? Okay, he used the bucket to stall, but it kind of went against him. Yeah, because there's lag after you put it away. Yeah, so Zane was able to just put himself in position to forward smash. I'm impressed that Zane knew it, knew there was lag, and was so aware of it that he was able to forward smash him. Yeah. Here we go. You know what I really like about Game Watch is this pummel. He just like whips the bell out of nowhere yeah. and hits him in the head. A lot of people don't like Game Watch's noises. I'm kind of fond the of them. The noises? I like the noises. They're yeah. quirky. It's yeah. It's like I don't know. There's something about it. I feel like two-dimensional characters couldn't make noises that weren't that anyway. So yeah. It's fine. I really like his jump sound. Okay. Oh, yeah. he went way too low. I mean, the way Zane's been edge guarding, I'm not sure if he would have been able to make it. Ooh! Okay, he baited out the roll. Yeah, he just gets the air. I don't know how he got that read. Because a lot of people will look for um, when, when you're invincible, what they do against you, and then try to counter it. I didn't notice uh, Zane rolling out of invincibility a lot. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, he gets a grab. Nice down on the platform in tech case, but... Doesn't get much out of it. Oh, he's still going. I yeah. take it back. Oh, uh, he lets he, he tried to catch Game and Watch in the air still, but yep. found his way to the ground. Wow, nice. but that pivot, that I know, right? smash, the, pretty much the Zane when you do it like that. Oh, nice upbeat. Oh, we get the nod from Zane. He's happy about that one. Yeah. He's like, I got the lead. And look at him. Three stocks to one. Yeah, yeah he was just telling himself, like, I, I want to get some damage with this stock, Ooh. and then I'll use the next two to finish him off. Let's go. MDVA. <laughs> oh, but Curb's still putting up a fight. Goes for the Nair. He goes all in. And he's still still keeping Zane off stage. Nice forward air from Zane. Help him get back. Hits him with the bell again. That's a Nair. Yeah. yeah. See, now we all know it's an air. We're learning things from Curb. Ooh, and Curb just kind of puts himself towards the edge. I guess it's his best bet if he Aww. wants to win, but fortunately, Zane takes advantage, grabs that ledge, and he moves on. That was fun to watch. Yeah. That was fun. And what was really fun to watch for me is that, like we were saying, Zane kind of learned the matchup as he went. He's mm -hmm. so good at learning on the job. Put it on the put it on the resume, dude. Yeah. Learning on the job. Expert. Yeah. <laughs> Best Marth vs. Game Watch? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but I yeah. Mean, uh, Curb had a pretty good run, though. He made it into, uh, I think that was top eight. Uh, he showed, yeah, he showed that he's super capable. He yeah. could beat, like...